Welcome to my mod spotlight for SP Mod API. Some mod by Spider, and it adds a couple new things to your Minecraft world: hemp and animal gas. We'll start with hemp. Hemp is gotten by breaking grass, and you will get the hemp seeds. Hemp seeds can then be grown the typical way, placed on farmland with bone meal, if you feel like it. It makes different decorative blocks. You can also make a hemp straw block and eat it piece by piece to make this nice little ramp here. It's all the different stages of the block. It also you have decorative signs for different mods like forestry and billcraft IC2 railcraft there's also redstone signs that will work as buttons to turn on or off a light depending on which one you use it can also be used as a drug to make joints or fill a bong and it can be used for health purposes you can put your hemp in here this is a squeezer compressor from SP Mod API and it creates hemp resin and compressed hemp you then craft one of these hemp resin containers and fill it in here and it will heal you or another player you can also make this hemp cream which will do the same thing and then you also have hemp cakes that you can eat they are eight just regular you don't place them on the ground like a regular cake now you can also use this squeezer compressor for other things we'll get into that here in just a second the other thing that's added is animal gas animal gas is created from animals with a block called an animal chunk loader it needs to be within a certain radius of the animals config durable for how far away it needs to be if you do not contain the animals the gas will just evaporate into the air and then that needs to be collected either through a valve a pump of some sort from another mod or you have vacuum pumps and vacuum cells you load this into the small one and then you can come in and collect them or you have this vacuum pump which you hold it hear the click and then it will vacuum up some of it and mine is now full from trying to do that big bunch that was there and then you can craft this into cells or buckets now I have over here chickens set up with a build craft pump and it is pumping the animal gas right from them animal gas is a furnace fuel as you've seen over there I was using it in an IC2 generator to create power it can also be mixed with milk in a build craft refinery to make forestry ethanol if I turn this on here it'll start making our ethanol you can also use the valve as a fireplace it will stay running if filled with 
animal gas, supplied with animal gas, until you hit the switch and turn it back off. So it needs a redstone signal to turn it off. Now it also works as a fluid in railcraft boilers. I'll bring you over here to this setup I have. This is a different way of getting animal gas over here, but you'll see this is full of animal gas here. I do have a animal chunk loader back here. So what they are creating will fill it, but also you can kill them and they will create animal gas. Also, they will, there is this block that is from SP Mod API, which will store their XP that they drop. And then you will get this XP bottle. I have a huge one here, which if you right click will fill your XP and if you shift right click you can put it back in the bottle so it gives you a way of storing your XP away some other blocks that are added by this mod is an essence creator this one I have set for making wolf essence you feed it raw meat and it makes wolf essence. The wolf essence is used over here in this mob machine with carrots to make bones and meat and other drops. You'll see you can get spawn eggs, you can get wool and string. and feathers, ink sacks, all kinds of different things and that depends on which one of these modules you put on the machine and what it's fed. This is what the machine looks like when it's initially placed and then you cannot interact with it. You can turn it all around by shift clicking it. It only works when you put one of these modules on it. There's also a transmutation XP storage. This one takes 24 real-time hours to work. It creates essence from stacks of stuff you throw your stack of stuff in there and it will create it over time like I said 24 hours so it's not something that's you know OP it's going to take a full day to to run and it's number random number generated on if you're going to get 1% or 100% of the essence from it same with killing the animals and the amount of animal gas you get from them. It is also a random number generation type of thing. Also when you kill animals you will get the drop of chicken bone so you can have chicken bone, chicken bone, lucky lucky chicken bone and you got sheep bones, cow bones, pig bones, things like that. Also, a couple last things for this mod here is you have a cobblestone workbench. It's a one-time use workbench. Once you click on it and put your pattern in here and hit escape or E, it disappears. Also, you have this neat little cobblestone storage. It only has six Spots holds a maximum of 48 per stack, but it's a nice way to hide things in a base. If you turn it the right way, you can't really tell that 
it is a storage switch today real quick. Now, the other thing I was so saying was the squeezer compressor can do different recipes, can make different things. This is a little setup I made here, pulling water in. It's taking gravel and creating sand and flint. It uses the water to kind of sift through the gravel. If you hit the recipe button, you'll see it can make diamonds with a 99% chance from a stack of coal, block of coal, and then this is how you make your vacuum cells. And you can get a 5% chance of obsidian from compressing cobblestone back into stone. So you have a lot of different recipes that this machine can do. And this is all being ran on animal gas through a buildcraft combustion engine, a biogas engine. These put out 30 RF a tick, except for this engine, which is a peat-fired engine, and it is being ran off of gunpowder at 40 RF a tick. So something else that that mod adds. I hope you enjoyed. There's a link in the description to download the mod from Curse. Give it a try. Check out the config. There's a lot of different things that you can change in it. It's also an API, not just a mod, so you can use it to create your own mod off of it. There's neat things you can play with, like a stopwatch to change the time of day. Have a good one. Let's see.